there's a lot of women who come in and ask to get their clit pierced. Now, I'm 99% sure this is not what you want. What I mean by not what you want is that most people actually get the VCH, the vertical clitoral hood, and that is the flap of skin covering the top of the actual clitoris. Now the clitoris itself is extremely painful and extremely dangerous. Now the thing about piercing the clitoris is that it needs to be large enough to not cut off the blood supply. When I took the Fakir classes and talked to Fakir about this, he said he knew a woman who came in who didn't have a large enough clit to actually pierce and the blood supply got cut off, it turned black and fell off. After hearing this, it scared me to death about these piercings, so it needs to be large enough. And also, I wouldn't pierce anything thinner than a 14 gauge. This is a scary piercing, make sure you have a qualified piercer. Now these piercings are typically done with a ring and the most common problems you're going to have with this is that the dried lymph fluids crusties could be spinning and getting pulled inside. So it's essential to clean this piercing properly. Other than that, expect around two to four months for these to be fully healed up. Now I know you're all curious on this one. It's a cluster of nerve. It's gotta be sensitive. Let's check out the pain meter It didn't even waver a little bit. Right to the top. I told you, this one is intense. After hearing the Fakir story about how the one lady lost all sensitivity and it basically fell off, I don't perform these piercings. It's an extremely dangerous piercing, extremely risky, and if you are looking to get this done, seek out the best of the professionals. Now this piercing is even too intense for me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Now if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you hit the like, hit that subscribe, and of course, keep putting holes your body. We'll see you all in the next video.